Hey guys and welcome to uh, the latest part of my Let's Play Super Mario 64 series. Still on Rainbow Ride. So let's go. Or should it be Let's Go? Either way is is fine. Now this is what I was talking about in the previous video. Uh, when we have a spit path, we have two stars. So we get a pirate ship star. This one will be the House in the Sky star. Um, did you see me? Did I screw up on that star? I can't remember. I should rewatch my videos maybe. But I won't talk about that in case it didn't actually happen. <laughs> or in case you didn't actually see it happen. So forget forget I even mentioned it. But yeah, as I said, this is kinda of boring. Here, waiting for the carpet to just sort of reach where we want to go. But, you know, it's not a big issue, I guess. So, Rainbow Ride. Um, some of you might recognise it. If not from Mario 64, then from, yes, Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's right. Of all the levels we could have chosen, I chose this one. And then again, what other levels could they have chosen from Mario 64? Uh, yeah, exactly. So, I don't know, it's not a course I play in Melee. Melee isn't, game, isn't even a game I really play anymore anyway, because I have no friends, but that's another issue. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, I think it's actually a bit more exciting in Melee. I mean, I guess they had to make it a bit more exciting. But, I don't know, it's been years, literally years since I've played that course, so I remember it being alright, but not my preferred choice of levels to play. Avoid the flame, there we go. You see the rainbow paths crisscrossed back there, because we go around the um, other side here and back down, so I have to avoid the flame again. If I got hit by the flame though it probably wouldn't have been a big issue because I could have caught up the carpet. If I get hit by it this time, it will be an issue because the carpet goes up to the top of the castle. Um, should I call it a castle or a house? I should be consistent, shouldn't I? Um, I said I call it a castle, so I'm calling it a castle. Um, yeah, you see it goes down here and then you can see it go back up. I'm using my finger but you can't see it. Um, yeah, so I don't want to get hit by it here. There we go. Otherwise, I obviously wouldn't have been able to catch it up. And also, if you stay off the carpet for a prolonged period of time, it disappears. So, that's another thing to watch out. But, an easy start to get. So, let's just drop right back in. Master the maze. Okay. Um, this that might actually be our red coin star. Maybe, maybe. Because they're kind of in a maze. The red coins are really easy to get on this level. Um, I'm actually surprised how easy they are. Uh, I won't be getting the yellow coins on the same level, like the same star, because well, I mentioned that um, it's going to be a bit of a mission. I can get the yellow coins on this because of the huge amount of depth to this level, the depth and breadth and stuff, all of those terms. Uh, so yeah, that's going to have to be a separate sort of thing to do. Can I get out there? I always thought I could wall jump up there, but I guess it's too long. Let's do it the easy way. Don't want to get squished by the weird block thing. Where's that anyway? I can, I can even hazard a guess as, as to what that's meant to be. It's going to be a long jump over. So basically you're just wall jumping for red coins here. It's, as I say, easy, easy peasy. There is a flame, uh, one of those black flame sphere things uh, in here somewhere. 
designed to just sort of put you off, I think. But, you know, there's not really much to it. There it is. Easy enough to avoid. I wanted to try and get this and... Yeah, that's why I wanted to get Easy peasy. And he said there was a flame in the corner as well there. I really don't see the point of that. But, you know, if it's not in my way then I won't really complain about it. So, Silver, so you might have just seen there's a blue coin block there as well, which certainly makes my life easier. But you have to wall jump for those too. I'm sure I was there a start at the top there. I don't think there is. I don't know. Right. I'm gonna go down here now. Yeah. In case you haven't played this game before, you might have not expected that. There is a whole another area to this level. So no kidding when I say that this is a big force. Um, there's one or two stars here. This is like a sort of obstacle course of sorts. You have to. Oh, I don't. Can't see where I'm going. Yeah, you know, as I say, you have to be pretty quick around here because of the platforms falling and pendulums swinging and stuff. So you have to uh, sort of make your movement pretty fluid. Keep going. Otherwise, stuff like this happens. Ooh, that was lucky, wasn't it? Or was it skills? You know what? I'm going to say it's skills. Unlike that. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh. and you know who did it. You're a cool tuned. Officially. Oh, jeez. Another weird floating yellow block thing. Now, where do I want to go? There might actually be two stars here. I think this is a path to one. And over there might be a path to one. I'm not sure. Wait. Yeah, you can see a star there. Where is this guy then? Hopefully this takes us to a star as well. Hope I haven't taken this path for no reason. Yeah! Okay, we're on two stars. Alright. A minute and a half, so I doubt I'll be able to get the star in this video, but... And that was the star I meant to get as well, swimming in the breeze. This is pretty sweet. Now what are we doing? Tricky triangles. Yep, that's it. That's a star. Now I don't know where that pole leads. I'm sure that's connected to a pirate ship, but I don't know, can that be right? It seems like it's sort of the pirate ship's too far away to be connected to this. But I'm pretty sure it is. Not like initially. I think there's like more poles to climb up and stuff, but Maybe I'll find out. Um. Oh, lucky. Oh, can I get the star, actually? I didn't think I'd be able to. No, I won't be able to. Oh, well. What? I didn't even... I'm not going to get it now. I'll get it right at the beginning of the next video. So I hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow.